Well, it's another extremely hot day today here in my city of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Hey, what's up guys? Alex here. Uh, just got off the Mississauga My Way Transit bus here at the intersection of Dundas Street West and uh, East Mall Crescent. Uh, we're pretty much uh, right next, well not, well not really, but we're just, uh, just a few meters away from the uh, city of Toronto and Mississauga border. So essentially we're in the, pretty much the very west end of the city. And it's just before a rush hour uh, on uh, this Monday, July the 8th, 2024. Uh, it's just after 2.45 p.m. And you're looking west towards Highway 427 and the uh, somewhat dead Cloverdale uh, shopping mall. And I was gonna make a walking video today because of how freaking hot it is today. 28 degrees Celsius, which feels like 33. Earlier though, the high was uh, 37. And I've been out for literally four hours because uh, I, I just went around, uh, I went around Mississauga today taking a few my way buses. Uh, I filmed a bus ride. Okay, there's a guy literally literally sleeping on the sidewalk here so we're gonna trickle past him can't even tell if he's homeless he probably is unfortunately anyway as i was saying uh i took the 109 all the way to Meadowville town center which is somewhere i've never been before uh didn't spend too much time there there's nothing really there was like nothing really to do there's just this old neighborhood shopping mall and then outside you have a lot of other stores. I went into a Timmy's to get a mocha frappuccino, which is really good. And then right next to the bus terminal is an old professional building with a vintage Otis Lexus elevator. So I believe that was the first elevator I filmed uh, since I got back from New York City. And then I filmed a bus ride on the 46. Uh, took a little took a little longer than it should have down to Area Mills Transit Way Station, and then I took the 109 on a pretty boring XD40, and uh, now here I am, just not too far from Kipling Subway Station, walking here in a partial strode. I've talked about this place before because I've done a couple walking videos through here. This is the old Honeydale Mall, which has been sitting abandoned for 11 years now. It's still got the signage up, and that also used to be a Walmart. There used to be old signage of that Walmart, but that was either ripped out, taken down. And a couple of things have changed here, including including uh, the closing of two fast food chain, or sorry, two fast food restaurants. Is that the Ministry of Transportation of Ontario here? I wonder what's it doing here. Parking on the driveway of the, the abandoned shopping mall. There's a residential neighborhood north of here as well. So you're just steps away from uh, commercial activity in Kipling Station. And uh, the transit hub, of course. And Kipling Station is on the western end of the Bloor Danforth subway line. And it's an important transit hub for commuters heading to Mississauga, which is the suburban city west of here, as well as various neighborhoods within the Etobicoke borough and GO trains, because there's also a GO station that uh, serves the transit hub. So we're walking east here along the south side of Dundas Street West. Coming up is uh, Shorncliffe Road, which is an industrial street I thought I'd make it a walkie video down. Uh, hey, there's one, of the, the, there's one of the brand new new flyer hybrid buses that are very similar to uh, uh, the TTC ones. I rode on one earlier, not, not a 2300, but it was a 22 something on the 109. Notice that for months now, my way has been putting uh, local express buses on uh, on the local routes while the express branded buses are on the local ones as well. In fact, I rode a, an express branded Orion 7 on the 46. And this here used to be something, probably, I think it was an auto dealership. 
or a bank. I can't remember, but as you can see here, they just closed it down. And then coming up is a plaza and uh, that had a Dairy Queen and McDonald's, which recently shut her down months ago. Oh, there's one of those brand new XDE60s from 2022. Okay, I gotta run here. I found a couple elevators around here. And that building and then the one next door. One is a Revan Montgomery and the other is a vintage Dover. And here's the airport express bus. Obviously going to the airport, just a 15 minute bus ride. Long time ago, they used to have the Orion 7, uh, how should I put it? They, had, they used to have the airport theme buses, but they uh, already retired uh, last year. So the Novas ha uh, have been taken over. And I gotta admit, the wrap looks, the wrap on the Novas look much nicer than on the Orions, even though I have a love-hate relationship with uh, the freaking Novas. Oh, we got an Orion 7 here. And here's one of the recently, uh, recently transferred Orion 73Gs here. Queensway has been receiving a lot of hand-me-downs. And that's to replace the retiring OG Diesel. There's 23 of them left. Freaking 23. That's crazy. I'm going to try and get some, get more photos of them. Look, there's another EPA 10 here. I still don't like them here at Queensway. It just feels so freaking weird. So, so weird. Anyway, so that used to be a McDonald's, which literally closed down months ago. And then there is another auto shop, a Money Mart, and then a Dairy Queen. They recently just boarded this whole freaking plaza up so they could build brand new condos here. All the way over there. It's incredible. I only went to that Dairy Queen once. Last time was back in May 2023. So months before they sh actually shuttered it down. It's a shame because... There's not so many uh, Dairy Queens uh, around Etobicoke. It had like a, it had like an an old school interior in there. Man, all they want to do is just freaking close down important shopping plazas and just transform them into uh, this. Yeah, I only thought of making I only thought of making this walking video earlier today when I was uh, at uh, Meadowvale. I'm gonna head, start heading home. Try to catch another Excelsior Hybrid on the 941 since it, since it's uh, pretty much the start of rush hour. It's an endless amount of buses here. From TTC to my way and then to go transit buses. And this is a very busy quarter. Uh, I think uh, in the very, very near future, probably not until like 2040s, Metrolinx uh, plans to construct the uh, Dundas bus rapid transit way. As you guys know, Mississauga has its own right of way BRT corridor that all of us Torontonians wished we could have. I mean, one kind of exists in North York. And then soon they'll be starting construct construction on the Scarborough BRT on the Line 3 corridor. Oh, there's another brand new hybrid there. These are very comfortable. Very sim again, very, very similar to the TTC ones. 
I mean, they look and sound very similar, except there's no uh, rear, except there's no back window on the TTC versions. Well, I don't think there is. Oh yeah, 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 yeah there is on that one. And I believe uh, there's a couple of uh, radio stations uh, based in there. I'm not sure if that's actually where they air broadcasting stuff or I don't know. Because look how small it is. Okay, it's a communications building. So that's probably, they probably do that here. So all these my way buses are turning right up ahead into the fairly new Kipling bus terminal, which opened three years ago. So you can see it over there. But it is still going to be a little bit of a walk to the TDC portion of the station. Man, as much as I miss the old D40LFs, these new buses are really, really cool. But I'm surprised my way hasn't purchased any battery electric buses yet. So this is Subway Crescent. I filmed a, a Schindler elevator in this building. And then, and, and then the one next door, not at all because one's been modernized. So I could easily walk into uh, Kipling Station through here, but uh, obviously not, because this is still not a long video. I mean, the past two walking videos have been quite long, but it's gonna be on the shorter side, just because it's not even a far walk. And the fact that it is so hot, so freaking hot, so. Thank God I got a bottle of water in here. Hey, that same freaking NG Diesel has that funky wrap. It still, it, it still has that wrap, even before it, even the, when it was still at Wilson. 82 was set, I, I saw it going by as I was about to get off the uh, 109. It literally just, it literally just finished. I don't think, I don't think it laid over at uh, Kipling. I think it just stopped to pick up passengers and then uh, on, off it goes. Hey, it's the lucky two on route three. 22-22. Wow. The lucky two. And I guess there's another pedestrian entrance to get into a Kipling station. Okay, so that funky wrap is on the uh, 111. And then coming in through here, you can get a great view of the uh, skyline. Yeah, you can kind of see it. There's the, uh... Oh, I think I lost it. Oh, shit. Okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. I'm wearing sunglasses. That's why my... Brightness isn't all the way up. The thing is, though, my phone battery has been dying pretty quickly. Oh, there's an OG diesel. See, I knew, I knew we'd see one. There's not many of them left now. What was probably over a freaking hundred of them a year ago. It's just now an uncommon sight to see. I gotta try and uh, make some more bus ride videos on them. I mean, at least I did three weeks ago on the 944. But I, I gotta try and get uh, more of them before they're all gone. Those units were built in 2007. The 2006 units have already retired back in the winter. Oh, there's an OG hybrid on the uh, Kipling route, obviously. Because that's the only Mount Dennis route served here. I use it as spies this route because it's not served by Queensway. 
I mean, it still doesn't make sense that it's not a Queensway. But uh, the OG hybrids were brand new. They used to run on the on the 45, so it's not really the end of the world. And this here used to be a Starbucks, but turned into a presentation gallery. And there's the famous Apache uh, Burgers, which has been around for decades. And there's the other Starbucks there too. All right, we're gonna walk to uh, a subway station. A lot of uh, trains and YouTubers who I'm subscribed to have uh, done their fair share of uh, fanning buses here, even I did. It's very interesting just to get the buses going in and out and you get the, the variety, right? 80.97! Hell to the frickin' yeah! The thing is, over the years, I've already filled many OG diesel bus rides. But, I got, but now I'm thinking of trying to film one on the uh, 46. And there's the EPA 10. Again, the, it's very weird seeing the uh, EPA tent. I still haven't been on one on a Queensway route. And there's the other one which I saw from over there. They'll be doing some minor construction around here. I think they're rebuilding the parking lot and the... Yep, they're, they are repairing the... Uh, oh yeah, the, they're, they're still repairing the bus roadway. They've... Yeah, they've been closing it in different phases. See so guys, now we even a far walk from uh, East Mall and uh, Cloverdale all the way down here. So there is 8063. Very soon you're not gonna be seeing these buses here. Very sad. But uh, TTC is going to preserve uh, some of them. I'll give you a closer look. Yeah, I wonder what route that's going to start on. And there's the Kipling bus terminal. Okay, since this video isn't so long, let's just... Uh, let's just uh, walk into the subway station here quickly show you guys the uh the bus terminal and then we'll go down to the subway platform where i will hop on a subway train what's the time now almost 305 although my watch is probably slightly off that pool wolverine i want to see that Here, a train idling. But if I hear another one coming in on the other track, that means I gotta hurry the hell up. 11.19. Fun fact, over there, that used to be a, well, not really. This was supposed to be like a RT style for um, like an Etobicoke RT, very similar to the Scarborough RT, but Never came to fruition. Okay, that train's about to depart because this one's coming in. Yeah, I'm gonna hop on this car. Yeah, I was just here uh, hours ago. You can see the tail tracks at the end. But yeah, walk down, find yourselves in a tunnel. I'll take you to the Kipling terminal. All right, it's busy here. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna linger around here. All right, guys, so I'm gonna wrap things up here. It's nice and air conditioned in here. I'm gonna start heading home now. So guys, uh, uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as always. Stay tuned for more videos. Check out my coverage as well. I'll see you guys on the next one. So take care, stay warm. I mean, <laughs> stay cool.
Uh, I think we should be back to normal tomorrow. Hopefully, but it's also gonna be raining, so who knows when I'm gonna make another walking video or head out. Seriously. All right, this train's gonna this train's gonna depart pretty soon. I'm not gonna wait here, so. Okay. Oh, I think we will. I think we will. I just heard the departure signal. Okay, I spoke too soon. Off we go. Off we go. All right, so at least that uh, makes the video a bit longer now. Oh, there's 8063. Long live the OG diesels, man. All right, guys, take care, guys. Bye-bye.